If you're using a pressure washer with a flow rate of more than about 12 litres per minute, you might want to consider using a buffer tank. The main advantage is that you can plug into the customer's water supply when you arrive on site and get yourself about 120 litres of buffer before you begin working. The tank will never overflow because it's fitted with one of these float valves and there's a few different types and you can get them from different plumbers merchants. These are the standard sort of domestic ones that you'd normally find in places like Screwfix or Wix. But what I noticed uh, when I tested them, the same with the big brass one that I've got in the tank inside my van. Uh, the flow rate isn't great, it's, it's pushing all this water through a tiny hole. So instead of a float valve, I've opted for something called a fill valve, which you get slightly different results when you type that in. This one's got a filter built into it, and you can just screw your standard hose lock connection onto the outside. And then inside the tank, it's just a different design basically, and it's, it's allowing more water to come through, but it's still got the, the stop, the stop valve. When the water reaches about halfway up, that little unit, it will cut the water supply off so it's not going to overfill the tank. And then this is a three quarter inch bull valve and I'm going to attach that to a, a tank connector. And these are quite hard to find um, from pl plumbers merchants and whatnot so you have to, I found that I had to order these off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I'm going to drill a 25 mil hole. So the one at the top was about 19 mil and then this one's 25 mil and that will allow you to push that tank connector through the back and it comes with a couple of little rubber washers as well to stop the water leaking. Ready for a challenge boy? Yeah. I need you to climb inside that bin yeah. <clears throat> and poke that through this hole okay. from the other side. It's going to be quite tight. Yeah but it's kind of watery in there. Yeah, a little bit. Should I just go for it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Watch you don't um, lean on that and damage it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm not ready. Yeah, try and push it really hard with the palm yet. Pardon? Push it with the palm of your hand. Probably get these ready. These little rubbery washers. Go on, boy. Maybe try screw it first. That's it. You got it. That's it. Now push really hard with the palm of your hand. That's it, boy. Can you stay there for a sec, just in case? Yeah. Can you put your hand against the back of it so I don't poke it back through? Thanks, mate. I'm gonna push against it now. All right. Almost. Yeah. Can you try and stop it spinning? Yeah. That's it. Yes, Luca. Well done, mate. That's perfect. Well done, mate. Thanks. Thank you. Depending on what machine you buy, they come with various different size suction hoses. Um, but you can get little adapters that's just screw in like this. I don't need this one, um, but I, I, I had it anyway. Thought I'd show you. So we're going to get a baseline reading from the uh, from the tap. Luca, do you want to let's um, see how long it takes to fill this jug? You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Keep it flat. Okay, we've lost a bit there. We've lost a bit. It's okay. We lost a little bit, but it was around about nine seconds. That was a, that was a bit of chaos. It was a little bit of chaos. <laughs> so now, can you can you plug that into the back of there? Yes. If, yeah, if I pass it to you. Can you plug that in to there? Push. That's it. Make sure we've got no kinks. 
So now we're going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to time how long it takes to fill the jug again. Now this is a two litre jug, so we need to divide it by two. And then I think divide it by 60 or times it by 60 to work out the litres per minute. I can't remember, but we'll figure it out in a minute. Go. Okay, so we're, we're about the same, to be yeah. fair. Um, I got eight, 8.7 seconds on that one. I was like, one, two, three. <laughs> it was actually a little bit quicker than just the hose, but I think that was just because we were spilling a bit. So I need to take, let's take nine seconds, and I think it's, no idea. there it is. So we're going to do uh, 60 seconds, or litres per minute, so 60 divided by nine and then we need to times it by two because we did we did a two litre jug not a one litre jug get about 13.3 litres per minute which is pretty much exactly the same as what was coming from the tap but I guarantee if we try one of those ones over there um, it's gonna be a lot slower so let's give it a go this is typically what you'd see in a, in a normal buffer tank. Sometimes these are brass. I've got a brass one in the back of my van. Um, and I've tried this with the brass one as well. And it filled up a lot slower. So um, when the water level rises, it, it pulls this float up. And, and it cuts off the water. Um, and then with this one, it's actually uh, it's got a float valve inside here. It's a slightly different design, but it's the same principle. Okay, Luca. Can I turn it on. Turn it on. Um, how do you work an iPhone? Huh? How do you work an iPhone? No idea. Okay, three, two, one, go. You finished strong. Let me know when it's full. Okay. 20 seconds for me. Uh, on here it's about 17 seconds, so it's literally like almost double the time it took to fill it. And if you've got the brass version um, of this in your buffer tank, it's likely that it's filling up at around a similar rate to this one as well. Like I said, I've tested the one in my van and it's exactly the same. So You want to get yourselves one of these. It's got a filter in it and it fills up twice as fast. Thanks, Luca. Okay. Thanks for your help. Bye. See ya. Bye. It's handy having this ball valve. Look at the amount of water coming out of there. Look how fast. Um, it's handy having this uh, because if you want to disconnect your, if you've only got like a short hose going to your pressure washer and you need to move it around the property, um, <laughs> on on some of the other models of this of these bins, you have to just take the hose out. And, uh, and then you get water everywhere. So it's nice to be able to have an actual valve on there that you can turn off so you can move the bin around. It would be nice to have a filter on the inside there. You can actually get the ones that screw in to the back of that, uh, the same, I think it's three quarter inch fitting. Um, I just haven't got round to that yet, but you can see all these bits floating on the top of the water from where I've drilled the hole. Um, but generally, if you're pressure washing and you've got the lid closed, and you've got a filter in here to stop any debris from the hose going in you shouldn't have any problems but if you're going to start storing all your dirty hoses inside here um, the best thing to do I'd say would, would be to get a filter screwed into the back there and the other thing you don't want to you don't want to drill this hole too low uh, because you'll pick up all the stuff from the bottom you want to leave about an inch um, so that all the debris settles at the bottom um, and then you're just getting clean water Hello. So I thought it'd be interesting to measure the potential flow coming out the bottom going into your machine. Um, it's, because it's an upright tank, you've got all the pressure um, going straight down onto this valve. And so in theory, I mean, my machine's 15 litres per minute, so we'll see how much you could potentially draw from. The machine should suck as well, depending on what kind of pump you've got. Um, so I'm going to let this go. Can you time from when I put the jug underneath? Mm -hmm. Until when? Um, until the jug's full. Go. Stop. 4.2 seconds. 
4.2. Um, and then you've got a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so let me work that out. Because it's two litre jug. Yeah, so you want to... 60 divided by... In a minute. 60 divided by 4.2 4.2 times 2 Because that's how many litres we're full point, No, how many 4.2s going to 60 Yeah And then we'll times it by 2 for 2 litres 28 28 yeah. litres per minute Coming from the bottom of that <whistles> Awesome, thanks B So yeah, my slippers So the other thing you can do If you've got a return pipe coming from your machine Sometimes you'll have like a circulation pipe so that if you're not on the trigger the water will still pass through the machine and go back into your tank you can get these little 25 mil grommets um, so you'll drill drill a 25 mil hole and then this will tightly fit in there and then you'll um, you'll cut across with a Stanley knife in there and then you can just put your hose into the top there so the water keeps recirculating and it won't overfill because once the valve, once the, va once the water pushes the valve up, it will stop drawing water from the customer's tap. So it will never overfill, it will just keep recirculating. I'm not going to do that to this one um, because I don't use a return valve on my machine. Um, but if you wanted to, you could do that. All right, thanks for watching. If you think you can make that design any better, let me know in the comments interested to hear what you guys think see you in a bit let me know if you found that useful I don't actually need this one uh, I was just doing this for the video so I'll probably put a, a sale link down in the description cheers